We are back and going to mount the rest of this axis deer. Applying the height paste all over the face because if you remember we didn't put any height, height, height paste on it and we just used some plastic wrap to make it slippery. And um, I'm putting a lot of height paste around the face right now before I pull the skin over the head. Make sure that no height paste gets on the hair. Of course you can clean it up, but it's best to avoid it. Slowly pulling the face over the head and push. I, I like to use my awls to push, in, push the skin into the body to hold it so it doesn't flop around. And then I get my stout rougher to move around the skin around the neck bring it as close as possible at this stage to where they need to be or, or where it needs to be so I can start sewing up the neck on the back on that short incision I like to do all my sewing all my tucking and everything before I finish up the face some folks like to do the face first thing and then they continue uh, but I like to spend a lot of time on face so I don't want the rest of the skin get air dried so uh, I bag up the face do the rest of the body and then I'll finish the facial facial work later adjusting the skin on this animal was quite important because we got patterns on it and uh, especially the white patch on the throat is important to be centered and also the brisket area needs to be centered you just got to make sure that you do all your um, attack seeing uh, very good like right now I'm trying to centerize the face to skin before I start sewing as much as it comes fairly close I bag it up and put a pin add more glue to the ears and ear clay part uh, parts and then start sewing so we're gonna zip through this sewing part so we don't have to waste any time watching me sewing the skin. Okay, taxiing keeps continuing. It's a short haired animal, so it's a lot more critical compared to a long haired animal. If you remember we only put the high paste around the neck now we're gonna continue by pulling the skin up we're gonna continue putting more height paste on the back side of the mount so the adhesion happens fairly nice and solid Pressing down on the skin, you're ensuring the, the contact between the skin and the height paste. So it works really good. Pushing it down with your hand and also with that um, stout rougher tool, you can tax it around and make sure that the skin is going to really stick to the form. Now we're doing the same thing on the under part of the brisket and under the neck area. Okay, now we're back into the facial work 
fast going through the right side because you can't really see because of the angle of the camera and we're gonna slow it down on this side use your smaller stout uh, rougher and uh, taxi the skin around the eyes make sure that your eyes are totally centerized around the eye and uh, the eye skin is centerized around the eye and then slowly push in your tear duct skin and also your uh, with your spatula tuck in all your eyelids slowly you usually lose a little bit of an eye shape with your clay work and in this stage but it's okay it the skin over your clay actually helps you to create that eyelid shape quite a bit easier because now you have something uh, to to basically encase that clay while you're working on it okay the muzzle needs a little bit more work this is the part I like to use my thin roll of clay on the upper lip because uh, as I've mentioned in my previous videos this helps you to close the lips or bring them down and bend them over the lower lip and create a very nice finish when you're when you're finishing the mount so a little bit more clay over the lip and a little bit more height paste makes it easier for sliding the skin around and also it's going to be ready for tucking in the or actually here you will notice a little bit of a brown leather attached to my lips that's what I sew on because um, they cut out a lot of uh, lip skin so and I didn't have much to work with and tuck it in so I added a thin layer of skin I think it's a it's a pig skyver leather that I have uh, quite a bit of them in the shop for these occasions so when there is uh, lip lip skin missing you can easily add some to it there is enough skin to show when the mount is finished to show all the hairline and everything but there's not enough attached to it to tuck it in so all you all you have to do is just add a little bit of a skin by adding by sewing up a thin layer of leather to the to the missing areas so again we are tucking in from the corners a little bit in the front and then the spots in between making sure that um, everything is going in like symmetric so we always do or at least I better say I like to do the uh, the upper lip first while I have the mount upside down and then a little bit of a roll of clay for the lower lip and then tuck in the lower skin the lower lip skin so that roll of clay that we applied on the upper lip we are not using it yet we have it still there the way we we basically put it on there we have not used it I'm still tucking in all the skins and I'm not using that clay I'm not reshaping it or anything I do that when the mount is up right right side up and when I want to close the mouth mouth perfectly good hopefully I have uh, shown it in the video because this was done months ago I'm trying to Upload it right now. Okay, now the mount is right side up. I have not worked on the ears yet. If you see the ears are floppy, left like up and down. I think I forgot to film that 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 part. But it's a pretty simple process anyway. You just have to move the earbuds to the right place and you can 
push a wire into the ears and hold them right there till they dry. But right now I'm tucking in the nose skins and of course um, I like to put a couple of pins in here and there and then push my plastic bags into the nostrils because they help the skin stick to the sides inside of the nose very well and they dry properly. So when we pull them out we have a perfect transition from skin to the form for doing our epoxy work. couple of more pins in the areas that I think plastic might not be able to push them down and now we're gonna push some plastic into the nose we are coming to an end for this segment too as I said um, adjusting the placement of the ears Apparently are not videoed. I don't know what happened. I can't remember the video was made like a few months ago Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video while you're watching the rest of it. Uh, I thank you very much for Watching the video all the way till the end If you like it, please hit that like button and subscribe for more weekly videos and share it with your friends That helps me going and uh, We'll see you this week or next week with more projects have a great day.